intro to Art B1 Part 4. I'm going to talk about the syllabus quiz a little bit here. Um, you're going to look through the watch first videos, the ones you're watching right now. You're also going to look at the syllabus. You're going to go back to the B1 learning tools and um, go over all the information there. The quiz is uh, a variety of source. The, the answers are on a variety of sources, most of which are all here, but some are the syllabus and a lot of them are on the watch first videos, <clears throat> which we're doing right now. Okay, so let's look at week one and I'm going to talk about the syllabus quiz also. So each week you're going to have a uh, task list here. You're going to have uh, the breakdown of points. And um, I see a typo here, of course. It's going to drive me crazy. So uh, we are fall 2021. And then um, I really thought I cleaned this up. That's weird. Okay, so normally you have two attempts on your quiz. Um, this week you're going to have um, a, a variety of things to do. There's no points on um, your reading and there's no points on the outlines, but all the stuff that you guys have points for is going to be listed here. So the first week, and it's all due August 26th, is um, four assignments and 60 points. A thousand points total in the course. Now I mentioned this, um, here's the questions for Flipgrid and then you're going to click on that and I'll do that on the first day. The welcome discussion, we went over this. Um, you're going to follow all these instructions here and then embed an image. Or sorry, Yes, embed or upload. Now the syllabus quiz is important. You have to take this because you've got to be clear on, on what's expected of you and this really helps in that way. If you don't take this, um, I may email you, I may not, I might just drop you. So make sure that you uh, look through this and um, review the, the questions. This is going to give you three attempts. So there's three chances for you to um, uh, submit this. Most quizzes are only two, but this is our first one. So I'm going to give you three chances. When you look at a quiz, all the information will be here. Um, I'll give you the correct answers uh, on August 27th, but it is due on the 26th. This is our due date on Thursdays. will always be 11.59. If you see anything else, you can email me. I'll give you two points for a typo. Um, there might be one thing in the last week that's a different date, but I don't think so. So you can submit this and then realize, oh, I got all the multiple choice and true, false, incorrect. So you could do it again. Um, but this also has fill-in sections. So if we go down to the bottom, there are some fill-in questions. So if you get down here, you have to type in an answer. Okay. So that won't be graded until, uh, you know, that's manually graded by me. Sorry, I have to get out of this. Uh, and you'll have to wait for that. Okay. But if you got the multiple choice or the um, true, false, incorrect, you can redo that up you know, three times. And then also if you forgot to submit the writing in there, um, and you do have to do that each time, by the way, but if you forgot to submit the writing somewhere, you can do that later. Um, so those are three of the four things we have. Flipgrid, recording a video yourself, just get into a quiet part of your room or, um, you know, you can go outside or whatever you want to do, but we're going to look at you in that video and get a sense of a real person, which is exciting because it's really hard for us to interact with this many students in the class. So we're going to do this uh, off to the side in Flipgrid. Then our welcome to Art B1, and then you'll go through and find an image. And that was in part three, syllabus quiz I just went over. Um, chapter 0, 0.0 introduction quiz. Now, if you don't have the book the first week, which you absolutely should because you get that free trial. And I went over that, I think, in part two. Um, you can just use an image, or sorry, you can just use the PowerPoints here for this quiz, okay? So I have a recorded um, set of videos for each chapter. Now, if anything's glitchy in here, because I noticed YouTube did something for censorship on me on one of these, and I don't even know how they found it. But at any rate, if you see a blank screen, you click on YouTube, and it still doesn't play, um, do email me on that. There's more information here with Khan Academy. I use them quite a bit. They're fantastic. You may already be familiar with them. Um, but this gives you a sense of museums here. 
what these extra bits, this link here and this image here on the slave trade and another link here and a blurb down here, this is in relation to something that was in the video or in the textbook that I covered. Okay, so this one has um, six parts and they're all, I try to keep it down if you've noticed probably already about 16, 15 minutes, somewhere in there. Otherwise it gets kind of um, laggy to upload onto YouTube. So anyway, you can look through those. They're always there too. Like if you decide you want to look at it later, you weren't clear on a concept, you can always scroll through and fast forward and all that good stuff. So this is a PowerPoint. Now we looked at a PowerPoint downloaded. You can also just hit full screen here and then scroll through and read the PowerPoint on your own. Now again, this is the intro chapter and it doesn't say 0.0, .0 anywhere except for when you look at what we call the fig number. Now this will be a question for you at times because you will have to use the fig number. It's the figure number because back in the day they printed all the color plates, the color images in one place. That's how printing was done. So that is why it refers to this number when it's in the writing. And you'll see that in our textbook even, that's a modern thing too. They'll talk about that number um, so that you know what to look at when they're writing in the book. So the, the PowerPoints I think are really great. They're slightly different format. Um, a word about subheadings and headings. Uh, look for these in the book like fine art, craft, and commercial arts. You want to look at these subheadings because that's going to be important. Um, sometimes the book does not do the greatest job of um, the format that it has in the textbook, like the subheading will wrap around the corner. So let's get in here again. So I'm in the intro chapter, so it doesn't say 0.0. .0. But sometimes you'll see that the subheading will start somewhere in the book and then you will think that's what you're reading about but it, it's really done and it's it's from the previous page or something like that. So watch the layout. So here we have that subheading right there. We're going and we're going. And then there's also, um, let's see, this may be the visual world. Okay, this is lining up. But there are places where it doesn't. Let's just leave it at that. You'll have to find those. Let's look at this one. Yeah, these are all lining up. So sometimes it doesn't, especially in the hard copy. I'll let you find that. Okay, so that's week one. You basically are only covering that intro chapter. The rest of this is about just us getting to know each other and understanding what's in the course. Everything else is going to be same layout. Um, you'll get a breakdown of what's due and the points for it. So um, this is loading weird. Okay, so week two, you have uh, 40 points. That doesn't sound right. No, you have 20 point total. So 20 point total, and then you'll go through an outline, PowerPoint, recording. Now my titles are not consistent. I need to work on that this semester. And then the actual PowerPoint that's just, uh, you know, something you can download or scroll through 83 pages. And this one is on line, and this is a supplemental material that describes different types of line. And then you have your quiz with two attempts here, okay, with the due date. So there's two quizzes in week two, and different weeks vary with different amount of points. Okay, so I'm going to go over to syllabus. I'm going to scroll all the way down because we didn't get there before. Um, on the extra credit grade challenges, we talked about all that. So this doesn't format really great from Word, but you'll see the point totals for each week. 60 for week 1, 20 for week 2, 50 for week 3, and so on. We get to a midterm, which the first one is going to be for part 1. The book, we have th part 1, part 2, and part 4. We don't do part 3. Um, there's a, somewhat of an exception. I'll explain that another time. But October 7th, you're going to have the midterm exam, so there's 175 points due that week. And another big week when we have um, part two midterm, okay? Then at the end, excuse me, at the end you'll have a final, and that has 130 points. If you scroll all the way down here, it's really helpful because um, you will see all these different... Um, uh, assignments and it's broken down by week so you can see like uh, 
November 11th has got a lot of things. A lot of these are extra credit. Um, and then November 18th as well. Should all be just 18th. I might not have changed the due date. But you can see there's one, two, three, four quizzes for December 2nd. The points aren't here though. So you have to look on that other in the other modules. Um, let's go back and look at the calendar one more time. And let's go to month view. And now you're going to see duplicates here because I'm in teacher view and I have two classes uh, with the same due dates. But you should be able to see, see how there's one, three, and one, three. So two classes and you guys have the same stuff. So you'll see what's coming up and what's due, right? Um, let's see, what are my other last few things I'm going to talk about? Okay, so if you are trying to find out information about Canvas, you're going to go to help here and you can do these different ones. You're going to do student support here. Um, you can also go, it's really nice because um, the Kern Community College District gives you their own help support there. We talked about that. So there's different places to look for Canvas support. Make sure you get a case number if you do call them and something's going wrong and email that to me. They usually CC me and email me. So please don't, you know, just come up with some random number and send it to me because it'll, they will eventually follow up. I'm trying to think whatever else we need to know for the syllabus quiz. I went over netiquette. Um, let me look at it one more time. But remember, to, Mark has done everything that's in there. I'm going to review the discussion and Flipgrid on Monday. And then let's get a preview. Okay, so you want to know whether or not you can use a cell phone. I went over that in a previous one. This had a little bit tricky, but I want you to look through this. Let's see what the grading breakdown is, how to email. Um, also, you need to read the... Um, well, that one's wrong. Um, you need to read over the essay guidelines. I do expect um, you want to read the statement of professionalism also. I expect consistent attendance and work each week. Um, but you're also going to read the essay and writing guidelines down here and discussion guidelines. Okay, so some of the quiz answers will be here also. Okay, good luck, and I will see you on Monday.